happened that I thought would never ever ever happen and I just I don't know when I started thrifting I thought it would be impossible for me to find Lululemon at a thrift store I just thought it's not out there people don't donate it and then I, I found Lululemon and then maybe a few other brands that I thought I would never find before and it has finally <laughs> come to this point where I found Gucci <laughs> at a thrift store I always thought in the back of my head, well, maybe it's a possibility I'm not gonna get too excited or I'm not gonna even think that I'll ever, I, I just thought I'm, I'm not gonna think that I'll ever find Gucci at a thrift store. It's just, it's not gonna happen. I go about once or twice per week to the thrift store and I was just looking, putting stuff in my cart. This is going to be a thrift haul of items that I got at the thrift store and most of these items I will be listing in my Poshmark closet and I'm going to be showing you how I style them and what they look like. The links for all of these items are going to be down in the description below in case you want to go make an offer on them. I'm happy to accept offers and take offers. So if there's anything that piques your interest, you can go check those out down below. Um, a few of the items I might keep for myself. Let's get into the haul and we will start with the Gucci. There is the Gucci sweater that I got. Um, at first it looks just kind of like a normal sweater when you look at the collar, but then um, I noticed the tag first when I was shopping and I was just like, oh my goodness, like is this really Gucci? So I looked for another key element and I saw that it had this logo on it and look how beautiful that is. I love it. And I think I will be keeping this for myself, at least for a little while. It's not gonna go quite on Poshmark yet. luxury or high-end brand name that I got. I also got a few others that are also really nice items. So I'm going to go grab those and show you what I got. The first item is this Demi Lee striped long sleeve tee. I love anything that's basic and it's striped and I love the olive green, but Demi Lee is a pretty expensive brand. I was surprised to see the price of that brand. This next item is a jacket. It's a wool jacket which is timeless, completely timeless. And this was a brand that I was so surprised to find. I've only found this one other time at a thrift store and it is the brand Max Mara. This is a sweater from J. Crew. They're kind of known for their sweaters with interesting prints on it. I love this one. I think I love the color combination and I just I think it's really cute. This is another very expensive brand that I found at the thrift store. This cardigan is by the brand Vince, which I love getting. I don't find Vince that much, but when I do find it, it's always just beautiful quality and usually they use really high quality materials. This is a new brand I've found. I've never found it before. This is by the brand Elizabeth and James. This is a silk tank and I think a tank like this would probably retail for over a hundred dollars um, new and it was new with tags. This is a very basic cardigan. This one is from Brooks Brothers. I don't always buy the Brooks Brothers but I do buy staple pieces and this cardigan I just loved it because of the length and it just it's so flattering when it's worn over the shoulders like that or it just it can go with so many different things. This next jacket is so stunning. It's a velvet jacket and then it has an embroidered dragon on it, which I loved. I loved it so much. And um, this is a size six. It's by the brand Votra Nam, which I had to look that up because I didn't know about that brand. And um, something like this would probably retail for a little bit over $100. This was a sweater that I just, I loved it. It kind of reminded me of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. I don't know. I just love the floral on it. And this was from Express. It's probably a vintage sweater. 
and then this is a Ralph Lauren top. I love the side stripe on it. I almost think it looks like a Gucci sweater with that side stripe and I love it paired with these jeans and then these loafers. But anything that is like a navy and a red and a white stripe, I love. This is another uh, Lauren, Ralph Lauren sweater. I had to grab some coffee mid-haul to keep myself going. So I have a cup of coffee with me, but I love this Lauren, Ralph Lauren turtleneck top. And then this is a sweater from Tommy Hilfiger. This sweater, it probably weighs like three pounds. It's just so heavy and it's so cozy and warm. I love this print on it too. It's kind of like a Fair Isle print. This is another Tommy Hilfiger turtleneck top. I love these ribbed turtleneck fitted shirts. I love picking those up. And Tommy and Polo both make so many sweaters that are like this. This is a jacket. The brand isn't anything special at all, but I picked it up because of the style. The style is everywhere right now. The brand isn't anything special. I think it's sold at like Meyer, but the style is good. This is a scarf, which is so trendy because of the bright colors on it. And it's by a really nice brand that I had to look up. I'd never heard of it before, but um, it's, I think it's Inverni and um, they do a lot of accessories and their scarves are pretty expensive. This is a jacket by Marmot. I love Marmot. Um, I just, I think their items always do well and I know a lot of people really love Marmot as a kind of like an outerwear brand. And then this is another Marmot. I love the teddy bear texture on this zip up sweatshirt. This is a Madewell sweater. I love the, um, it's kind of like a color block down the side with the gray and the navy. And then I love that it's V-neck. I think it kind of um, shows off the layered necklace trend. If, if you're into doing the layered necklace trend, I think it looks really cute with that. And then this is another J. Crew sweater. This one was so soft. You can see it when it zooms in a little bit. It's just a, an amazingly soft sweater. And then this is, I bet you can probably guess, a dress from Lily Pulitzer. Um, I think this one was called the Grays dress. And um, it just, I love her colors and her patterns that she uses. I think they just, they can look and make anybody look pretty tan. Thank you all so much for joining me in this haul of thrifted items. That is the end of my thrift haul for this week. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And if you would like to watch another haul off my shoulders episode, you can click right over here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.